Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full face of first impressions. I've never done a full face of first impressions. I've just done like a couple of products that I'm trying for the first time or like just a single foundation first impression. So this video took me about three months to save up for. Some of these products are fairly new releases, others are old that I'm just trying for the first time today. There's a mix of high-end and drugstore products and I'm really excited so let's just get started. And I even washed all of my brushes in honor of this video. The first product that I picked up for a primer is the LA Girl Pro Prep HD. Literally haven't even opened it yet and it's got one of those really annoying plastic things on it. So when I say first impressions, I have swatched these products in store and they're all products that I think I will like. So I'm not just you know, grabbing random things. I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money if I thought I was going to hate the product. So this primer feels so smoothing. It's not, it's not a hydrating primer. It's got a bit of a silicone-y feel to it, but it feels like it's just smoothing my skin out. It actually feels quite dry, like almost powdery. It doesn't look very different, but it just does feel much smoother. Next up for foundation, this is one of the newer products that I picked up. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I got mine in the shade Light 3 Gobi because that's the same shade that I am in the Sheer Glow. Again, I did swatch it in store and it looked about right, so hopefully the shade will match. So the box says the foundation looks stronger and stays longer. What do you mean by look stronger? All right, so it has a pump, which is always a good start. I'm gonna apply this with a brush today. So that is one pump. It's not a lot, so I'm gonna use two pumps. And we will see how far two pumps goes. It does not look like a lot of product, but we'll see. Okay, wow, so it does actually have pretty good coverage, even though it didn't look like I was using a lot of product, it is still definitely enough to cover my whole face. I'm really happy with how the shade matches me, actually, it was a good decision. It's definitely not set, like it's still, oh, it's actually, it's transferring onto my fingers, so it's definitely not one that sets on its own. Yeah, I would say that looks radiant. It looks really really even on my skin actually. It's not emphasizing any pores or lines or texture or anything. It really has just made my skin look quite flawless. And I don't know if you guys saw but I do actually have a bit of scarring from a pimple just on my chin at the moment and I don't think you can see that anymore. For concealer I picked up the Maybelline Master Conceal. This is not a new product. Oh, again because it's drugstore it's got one of those plastic annoying things on it. Um, but it's just a product that I haven't tried before. So it says on the packaging that it is full coverage, so let's put that to the test. I don't know if the color might be a little bit off. It looks very yellow. I'm not totally sold on the color of it. It looks maybe a little bit too dark for me. Would probably work fine in summer. I don't know, would you guys call this full coverage? I reckon it's more of a medium. I can definitely still see a little bit of purple under my eyes. Anyway, before that creases, let's move on to the powder. I picked up the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder. I was tossing up between it, this one or the loose powder that they have, um, but the lady said, like with my dry skin, it's probably better to go for a pressed powder. So this is what it looks like, it is white, but it is translucent once you apply it to your skin. Is it translucent or transparent? I can never remember which one's which. Anyway, it's one of those that won't look white once it's on. So this does also come with a little puff underneath, but I'm not going to use that today. I'm just going to apply it with a brush. I have been struggling with my under eyes looking quite dry recently, so hopefully this one will be a good product that won't do that. My under eyes definitely don't look as dry as they have been looking for the past couple of months and my foundation is still transferring so I'm not quite sure what to do about that. Maybe my setting spray at the end will fix that. For brows I picked up the Mellow Brow Definer Pencil. I got this in the shade Auburn which sounds like it would be a really warm shade 
but it really looked like it was the right shade for me in store. So this comes with a little spoolie on one side and then the brow definer on the other side. So as you can hopefully see, it's like a little triangle shape, which I'm pretty sure is the same as the hourglass one. I really need to get my eyebrows sorted. There's like a gap in this one, which didn't used to be there. Hmm, I think this shade does look a little bit too warm for me actually. Alright, we're having a bad brow day. Right, I'm not really happy with how that turned out. Just, um, try not to look at my brows for the rest of the video, okay? This is the exciting part of the video. I actually have two eyeshadow palettes. To try, the first one is one that I got for free as like part of a gift set. It is from Natio and it is their Earth eyeshadow palette. So as you can see, it's very neutral. I have no idea what the quality of these shadows is going to be like. I have tried quite a lot of Natio products before. I love their blushes, but I have never tried any eyeshadows from them. The other palette that I have to try is the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. And oh my gosh, if you guys haven't seen this palette before, it's crazy, but it's absolutely beautiful. So I really want to try both of the palettes out. So what I might do is start off with the Nature palette and use some of the more neutral shades like in the crease and stuff, and then use maybe one or two of these shades as like a pop of color on the lid. Okay, first off, this brush can go in the trash because it's like one of those shitty ones. The shades don't have names, but I'm going to start off with this one here just to set my eyeshadow primer, which I did off camera in case you guys were wondering because I didn't have a new one to try. So the shade looks a little bit yellow, but because I have warm undertones, it should be fine. Yep, it's fine. It's not too powdery. It actually looks quite smooth. I'm not the biggest fan of going into a shadow and having powder go everywhere. Right, so actually now taking a really good look at this palette, that first shade that we used was matte, and then this is the only other matte shade that's in the palette. So in terms of crease shades, I have to use that one because all of the others are shimmery. Oh, sorry, no, the black is matte as well. This one here, but obviously I can't use that in my crease. The pigmentation's all right. That was like one little dip. I quite like the shade of this colour as well. It is neutral. Oh, the powder's starting to kick up now. <laughs> now that I've dipped in a couple of times. And I feel like we need to try at least one of the shimmery shades while we're here. So I'm going to use this pinky one here. And I'm just going to pop that on my inner corner. Because I want to be able to put one of the shades from the Zulu palette on my eyelids. Oh, that's really pretty actually. I really like that. I'm not sure why I'm surprised. Because out of all of the Nature products that I've tried, I have really liked most of them. I don't know, I think I just assumed that it was just another drugstore palette that was not going to be very nice. But anyway, from the three shades that I've used from that, I quite like it and I'm going to continue to use it. Actually, I'm quite looking forward to trying this kind of ready toned shade here. I think that one's gonna look really nice. Anyway, moving into the other palette, I am really drawn to this shade here. This is probably my favorite, like just from looking at it, this is probably my favorite looking shade in the palette. It's like a gorgeous aqua blue. So I have to put that on the lids. I just have to. I'm trying to decide if I should use a little bit of the matte green to help it blend. I think I'm just gonna start with the blue and we'll see what it looks like. Oh, that pigmentation is amazing. I don't think I want to use this one with it. I might actually add a little bit of the orange just into the crease because I think it would look fun. I think if I add this one, it'll make it like too green. I think it would just look a little bit funny. Yeah, let's try a tiny bit of this orange. I have no idea how pigmented this is going to be. Um, okay, that turned into a little bit of a mess. Right, practice makes perfect. Let's try again on the other side. I don't like the orange and the aqua together. I feel like they kind of muddy each other a little bit. Or maybe it's the orange on top of the brown that I used from the other palette. I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of that aqua color because I feel like it blended it away a little bit. 
And I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of this brown and just use that just like a tiny, tiny bit of it underneath the lower lash line. I don't normally do this ever, but I feel like we've gone quite bright and I need to like balance it out a little bit. I'm just using a little bit of that brown in my outer V as well because I just feel like it's working a little bit better than the orange and it's just kind of helping to blend everything in together a little bit more. That will do. So for mascara, I picked up the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. The reason I picked this up is because ages ago, like probably a couple of months ago now, I saw Jamie Page use it in a video where like her subscribers recommended new products that she should pick up and use and she had never used it and she said that it was amazing and she was really grateful that her subscribers had recommended it to her so i was like cool let's try it so here we are two or three months later and i'm finally trying it i haven't even opened this i have no idea what the brush looks like i mean i have seen it in her video obviously but i've forgotten all right so the brush is really quite big and it's kind of like smaller in the middle so it kind of like curves inwards with your lashes i guess let's give it a go so because it's quite a big brush on the end, it's actually really difficult to get into the inner corner. Uh, so I don't like that aspect of it. I just totally poked my eye with that. Yeah, it's all over my lid now, great. Okay, I can't rate it that highly just because of the shape of the wand. I find it really difficult to use. I poked myself in the eye because I was trying to get into the inner corner and the brush is just too fat. I like the idea of it, like I understand what they were trying to do, like make it kind of shaped to your eye so that you can do the whole thing with like one swipe but it doesn't it doesn't quite work i think my lashes look nice i think like the product is a good product but just in terms of ease of use it's not my favorite anyway moving on to the rest of the face everything's like blurry out of this side because i think i still have mascara in my eye anyway i picked up the bare minerals invisible bronzer and I'm so excited about this. I picked this up because of Anna's recommendation. She always talks about this on her channel. It's one of her favorite bronzers. And so I was really, really excited to give it a go. I actually picked it up in the shade medium, which looks like this because the light one looks too light. I have had with bronzers in the past that they're so light that they don't show up very well on my skin. Um, but I'm a little bit worried that this one will be really pigmented and it will be too dark. So I'm going to go in with a stippling brush and hopefully it will be okay. Oh, I definitely think with a stippling brush it's not too much. I really like that. I don't know if you'll be able to see them, but there are like really tiny, tiny golden flecks in here, but they're not showing up on the face at all. It doesn't look shimmery once you put it on. I wouldn't use it to contour, but if you're one of those people that doesn't like a shimmery bronzer, you can't see it once it's on. Right, next up for blush, I picked up a product that I have had my eye on for the longest time, like probably over a year. It's one of the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush Pops. So I got mine in the shade Peach Pop because Peach blushes are my favorite like color of blush to wear, but I actually don't have very many of them. I have like three or four, and then all of my other blushes are like pink. So it made sense that I should buy more peach blushes, right? So I picked this up because I just have heard Shannon rave about these blushes on and on and on over the last year or two. So I really, really wanted to give it a go. And like I said, I'd been thinking about it for a very long time. I don't think they are overly pigmented. It's not one that you have to be too worried about. Oh, that's really pretty. I really, really, really like that blush. Okay, if I'm completely honest, this next product is probably the one that I'm the most excited for out of everything except possibly the Zulu palette. Um, this is also from Bare Minerals. This is the Invisible Glow. So it's from the same range as the bronzer, but this one is the highlighter. And this one I did get for fair to light skin because obviously if I get a highlight that's too dark, it's going to be really obvious. This is what it looks like. It looks so beautiful. I've got a little bit of a story behind this highlighter. I had been swatching like all of the highlighters that I could find in store and they all looked super chunky and glittery and just kind of gross 
on my hand and I just really didn't want to buy any of them. And then I finally remembered Anna talking about this one as well. So I think, I'm pretty sure she has recommended the bronzer and the highlighter in her videos in the past. So I went back and swatched this one and it was beautiful. It like didn't emphasize any texture on the back of my hand or anything and it just looked really like subtle but beautiful. So I don't think it's going to be the most intense highlighter ever but I do think it's going to be a really really nice subtle everyday highlighter. So let's give it a go. Oh, I love it. I actually love it. I have fallen in love. It's beautiful. I hope you can see it on camera. I can see it in real life and it looks amazing. Alright, I picked up a lip liner, which is a little bit funny because I don't tend to wear lip liners. But anyway, I picked up this one from LA Girl. This is the Ultimate Lip Intense Stay Auto Liner and it's in the shade Forever Bare. I just have Vaseline on my lips at the moment because they were like really dry and peeling. Hopefully they won't look too dry underneath this, but they are peeling, so. So this is a twist up liner, um, which I prefer because I don't like having to sharpen things. So it is, <laughs> it is lighter than my lips. I'm worried that it might be a little bit white based and look a bit funny, but we'll see how we go. It is really creamy and easy to draw on. But at the same time, it does feel like set in place. Like it's, it doesn't feel creamy to the point that it's going to slide around. And then for lipstick, we have a choice of two. They're both from Clinique. So one of them I purchased, which was this one, I think. And then the other one came in the gift set that they gave me. Clinique always seem to have amazing deals on, like you buy two products and then they give you like eight. I always try to time my purchases with that. So I bought the blush and the lipstick and then yeah I got like eight products for free so let's see which color looks like it'll work better so the one that I purchased it's one of their Clinique like pop lipsticks and I love the Clinique matte pop lipsticks they're my favorite lipstick formula that I've ever tried so I figured why not try just the normal pop lipstick the ones that aren't matte because I might love them as well so this is the shade I picked up it's called beige pop and as you can see, it's a very pale nude, so it might work quite well with this makeup. It would probably go with the lip liner quite well. Or the other option, this is one of their high impact lipsticks and it's in the shade 17 Rosette. That is the shade of it there. As you can see, it's a little bit deeper. And actually, I'm pretty sure this one has sparkles in it. Can you see them? Like, I can only see them from really up close. I think this one is much more of like a My Lips But Better color. I don't think I'm gonna use this one today. I think it looks beautiful, but I think it's just got a little bit too much color that we don't need with kind of this going on already. So let's try out this super nude one. And by the way, this packaging is limited edition packaging, which is in collaboration with Marimekko? I'm not sure who that is, but I wanted to tell you guys that the actual lipstick is not limited edition So even once the packaging goes away, they'll still be doing the lipstick just in like their normal packaging So it's quite a similar shade actually to the lip liner that I have on underneath so it doesn't look much different just looks a little bit creamier the lip liner felt matte like when i rubbed my lips together whereas now with the lipstick on top it does feel creamy the way the lady described this to me in store she said that it's like a demi matte so it's not shiny it's not like a satin finish but at the same time it's also not completely matte so it's going to be really comfortable to wear and it's going to feel creamy but hopefully it does set down just like a little bit anyway guys we are almost done the very very last product that i have to test out today is a setting spray. This one is from Mario Badescu. It is the facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. And it says that it is hydrating, and it also says not to spray it into your eyes. So let's be a little bit careful. Not sure if you need to shake these. I'll shake it just in case. Oh, that smells really, really, really nice. So this is only the second setting spray that I've ever tried. Actually, the other one that I have is the Maybelline Master Fix setting spray. So compared to that, this one has a much finer mist. It's still not really, really fine. Like I can still feel little water droplets on my face, but it's definitely not as wet feeling as the Maybelline one. So I do prefer this. And also because it smells amazing. And also because it was really cheap. Like I think this was 
six or eight dollars like it was definitely less than ten dollars which is incredible all right so let's sort this hair out my hair's not looking great today i'm not really sure what happened so this is the makeup look that i've come up with today i am really pleased with so many of these products the only two that i was not really sure about are the mascara like i said because of the shape of the wand and the brow pencil from mellow because it just it was very creamy it was very easy to make a mistake like i made this brow a little bit too long because it just kind of slipped all the way across my face and also because it's a little bit warmer than the shade of my brows but actually looking at it now it doesn't look too bad like it doesn't look too warm I just found it a little tricky to use aside from that I'm pretty sure I love everything let me just check one more time so my face it still doesn't feel completely set it's not transferring anymore but it just feels a little bit tacky still so I'm not sure if that is the foundation or the setting powder it might just be because neither of them are mattifying products and I'm kind of used to wearing at least one mattifying base product so it might just be that I'm not used to this but the foundation feels super comfortable if there is something that feels a little bit heavy actually it's my lipstick but it might not be the lipstick it might be the lip liner and actually I feel like it probably is the lip liner I'm not used to wearing lip liner I don't wear it very often and I can definitely like feel it sitting on my lips I'm really pleased with both of the eyeshadow palettes and actually I was surprised that I liked the Natio one. Love the Bare Minerals bronzer and highlighter and love the Clinique blush. So that was my first ever full face of first impressions. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I am really happy to have so many awesome new products. If you are new here I would love it if you subscribed. I upload a new video every single week and I will see you guys next time. Bye!